Thank you for purchasing our Ruark R410. In this video, we will show you how to set up your R410 in a few easy steps. Inside the box, you will find the R410 inside its protective drawstring cloth bag, the R410 rotor dial Bluetooth remote, the R410 power lead, a telescopic aerial, and the quick start guide. Before starting setup, there are a couple of things that you need to consider. R410 is a product designed for streaming and making the best of content available online. In particular, with its internet radio tuner, you have access to national and international stations, many in higher quality than you will receive through DAB or FM. So if you do not require these functions, then the supply telescopic aerial does not need to be fitted. If you do intend to use the DAB and FM sources, then the supplied telescopic aerial should be fitted and tightened onto the aerial connector using the supplied spanner and then fully extended upright for best reception. Secondly, you should ensure that wherever you intend to use your R410, that it is positioned where there is a good signal connection with your Wi-Fi router, as if the signal is weak, this may result in unreliable performance. Wi-Fi range extenders can help this situation or if you have the option to connect directly to your network by Ethernet cable, then please do so. With mains power applied for the first time, firstly, the Ruark logo is displayed and then soon after, R410 enters its setup wizard mode where you are prompted to input language, location and region. This is done by either pressing the arrow keys or rotating the control knob. In this case, we are setting R410 for use in the UK, like so. With language and location set, next, the wizard takes you to network setup. R410 offers various options to set up a Wi-Fi connection, but here we're going to show you the two most popular, the first using Network Wizard and the second using Apple WAC. To connect using Network Wizard, click the control knob to select and then click again on Wi-Fi Scan. The R410 will now search for Wi-Fi connections and once finished, will display a list of available networks. Using the arrow keys or control knob, scroll to your network and then click to select. Next, you are prompted to enter your Wi-Fi passcode. If you haven't already set your own custom passcode, then generally, the Wi-Fi passcode will be printed on your router as you can see here. Use the control knob to input your passcode and finally click on the return key to enter. Connect in and then connected will be displayed once a connection has been established. If you input the wrong passcode for your network, R410 will inform you and then take you back so you can again select your network and enter the passcode again. Next, R410 gives you the option to change its name. This could be its location or your name, but primarily it makes R410 easier to see as a device on your network particularly if you intend to use R410 as part of a multi-room speaker system. If you choose to continue and not change your R410's factory name, then you can always do this later through system settings. But in this case, we're going to rename this R410 to R410 Lounge and then select Enter to set and continue. The 
The next screen in the setup wizard provides the opportunity to set up Chromecast built in. This feature is ideal if you are an Android user or have a Google Nest Hub in your home as you'll be able to control your R410 with voice commands. If you are an iPhone or Apple user, you may not require this feature as we assume that primarily you will use AirPlay and services such as Spotify Connect. Installing Chromecast built-in is simply a case of activating your phone or tablet's camera, aligning it with the Chromecast setup screen on R410, and once the QR code is recognized, open the link on the screen by tapping on it to proceed. To complete the installation, you must then accept the Chromecast built-in terms of service and then decide if you want to share device stats and crash reports with Google. Selecting Yes, I'm in does not share any personal information, but simply creates logs for Google to analyze should a random vault occur. Once you've made your choice, you will next see a screen on your phone or tablet confirming that Chromecast setup has been completed. You will see a notification on the R410 as well. If you choose not to install Chromecast at this stage, then it can always be installed at a later date if required. With an internet connection established, R410 now checks to see if there is a software update available. If new software is detected, then R410 will now automatically download and install the latest version. During this process, it is important that you do not disconnect power or touch any of the controls. Whether or not there is a software update available, when finished, select Continue to proceed. This completes the setup procedure, but finally, you will see a message saying that R410's remote can be paired through the system settings menu. We will cover how to do this in a separate video, but for now, select Finish to end setup and then you will see R410's main screen showing a list of all available sources. To connect R410 using Apple WAC, Firstly, ensure that your iOS device is already connected to your Wi-Fi network. Setting of language, location and region is the same as described in our R410 setup video. But when you come to network setup, scroll to Apple WAC and then click the control knob to select. Next, you will see a message saying that R410 is ready to be set up using an iOS device. Unlock your iOS device, tap the settings icon and then Wi-Fi. This displays the Wi-Fi network your device is connected to, and below this, other Wi-Fi networks in your location. After a few moments, and below this, you should then see R410 appear with its unique ID code. Tap this, and next you will see a screen with a tick beside the network that you are connecting R410 to. At this point, you also have the opportunity to change R410's name simply by tapping on speaker name, and then editing as you wish. In this example, we're changing the name to R410 Study. With the changes made, tap next in the top right hand corner to continue, and next we'll see a screen showing that connection is taking place. Once connected, you will next see a message confirming that R410 has joined your network. After completing network setup by Apple WAP, you'll be taken back to the setup wizard where you have the opportunity to set up Chromecast built-in and check for software updates as described in our setup video.